Hi, and welcome to the Education Station's Coaches Corner. We're going to talk Ponca City High School wrestling this week as the Wildcat wrestlers are off until the regional wrestling tournament in Sepulpa and then, of course, the uh, state wrestling tournament as well. Wildcats had a great finish to the season with a great event here in Ponca City. Coach, uh, we haven't talked to you since the Big Four Plus Four, but I know you were very proud of the way Ponca City hosted that event. Eight teams came to town, a lot of people in town, and everything looked like it went off very, very well. Uh, Ponca City didn't win the event, but we came out winners with all the great support and the people that volunteered their time for that event. Yeah, it was a, a really good tournament. Uh, I think uh, as a school system, as a wrestling community, I, I thought uh, we presented ourselves really well. Uh, I want to thank everybody that came up to help and, and everybody that uh, uh, came to watch the wrestling. Uh, they got to see some really good wrestling up there. Uh, four plus four, it's traditionally a really good tournament, and, and uh, it was really good this year. Well, we knew that uh, the teams that we had seen, Coach, and just Blackwell and Perry and Stillwater, uh, were top-notch this year, and then uh, the teams that you brought in as well also were very, very good. Uh, and then your Wildcats competing. So uh, that, that tournament had everything. But the one thing I will say is, uh, and I, not the, uh, I know that you have to have a lot of people work very hard. Nobody knows all the behind-the-scenes <laughs> things that go on to put on a one-day event like that. You start it early in the day. It goes until late that evening and a tremendous amount of planning and work that goes into an event like that. Yeah, it definitely does. We, uh, Ed Schmout was uh, our tournament director, and, and uh, I worked with Ed, uh, you know, probably about a month prior to that is when we, you know, started having, uh, you know, serious meetings. And, and uh, you know, there's people to contact, like Ball Trophy. Uh, the, you know, you got to get officials. Uh, there, we probably had 40, uh, 40 volunteers up there. Uh, working uh, the tournament and, and doing different things around there. The hospitality room for the coaches, the officials. Uh, we had cops running security. So it, it was just from top to bottom, there was just a lot of people and, and a lot of things that go into uh, running a tournament. But uh, I think uh, as a school system, I think we really did a good job. Well, the good thing is that uh, you get that once every four years, but uh, the monies that uh, that type of it generate uh, certainly are good for our athletic coffers, and so uh, Ponca City won't host that for a couple of more years. Well, Coach, we're in a, kind of a, a dead period right now. A lot of schools are in this. The wrestling season is over with as far as duels are concerned. Dual state's coming up this weekend, but that, of course, features just eight teams out of 32. So there's a lot of teams that are... Uh, if you will, in kind of a dead period for another week and a half. Uh, how has your team been dealing with this, and what have you been doing to make sure the guys stay sharp? Uh, as a coaching staff, I think, you know, we're definitely disappointed that we're not at dual state, so that's difficult for us. But, uh, you know, a as a team, we've taken it as a as a opportunity to get just another week better. And, and uh that's what a lot of these kids need. You know, they need either more time in the room or more time on the mats. And right now we've got more time in the room, so that's what we're doing. And, and uh, we've actually started, uh, uh, you know, different type of workouts uh, going uh, two-a-days and, and kind of splitting practice up where we do a lot of intense workouts, conditioning uh, from two to five. And, and then we come back in the evening and work on our technique and, and our different drills. And so... Just trying to change it up and, and use the time that we have uh, to our advantage. Absolutely. Now, this was uh, an interesting season because uh, uh, we had a couple of guys this year that just had standout seasons. Uh, Shelby Kraut, uh, I know it's going to be tough to win a state championship, but uh, his season has been one that's very, very special, undefeated so far. Yeah, Shelby, he's having a really good season. Yeah, he's undefeated right now, and... Uh, yeah, we all the only two tournaments we got left are regionals and state, and and to be honest with you, those are going to be his two toughest because he's got uh, another kid that's one of the top ranked kids in the country. I mean, he, matter of fact, he's uh, the number two kid in the country. Uh, I think Shelby can go with him, and uh, you know that's that's the mentality we have. But uh, you know, it is going to be a tough tournament for for Shelby, and it reminds me of a kid named Blake Rochelle. Uh He he wrestled 189 as junior. 
junior year and, and took second behind, I'm sorry, 171 is junior year and took second behind uh, Joey Sheridan, who was one of the top four kids in the country. Then a senior year, wrestled behind Chris Perry, who was the number one kid in the country. And so, um, you know, Shelby's got to overcome that obstacle. But he's having an outstanding season, whether he wins the state title or uh, or not, uh, uh, I think uh, is going to be second to the type of season he's had. Absolutely. And uh, your defending uh, runner-up, Brandon Hunt, also uh, really had another fine season this year. Sometimes that's not as easy as people think because uh, he didn't catch anybody by surprise this year, yet he still came through it and, and had a very, very good season. Yeah, Brandon, again, he's one of those kids, uh, when we get to the state tournament, it's, you know, competition's going to get real tight. But, uh, you know, Brandon has done a real good job carrying uh, the expectations of following a state runner-up year. Uh, Brandon was one of those kids that overachieved last year. Uh, been wrestling maybe three years, and, uh, you know, like you said, he surprised a few kids, but but uh, the type of work and the type of kid he does, you know, allows him to surprise kids because he just works so hard. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure coming into this year, and, and he felt that early on, but he's dealt with that and moved past, and, and he's really improved on his technique and, and uh, really worked on some of the things that he needs to, and, and he's doing a great job. So we look for Brandon to have a good state tournament as well. And a lot of these young men, we may not see it in their win-loss records, but I'm sure that as a coaching staff, there's a lot of kids that, like I say, they may not be winning a lot of matches, but you've seen a lot of improvement in the way they've gone about their business from November until right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you, they're, they're just This team, it's dynamic. Is It's just made up of a lot of kids like that, where you've seen major improvements, but it's not been enough to, you know, uh, result in a win or their hand being raised uh, in, you know, it's... It's tough because that's how we judge winning and losing and success and things like that. But uh, uh, overall, this team has been a fun team to coach, and, and uh, it's been enjoyable to see those little successes, uh, to see the kids improving in the room. But it's also been tough for the kids and for us to not have the wins that uh, you know we think should correlate with the type of work that they're doing. Now, we have regionals coming up in Sepulpa, and... Uh... Coach, your thoughts on regionals? The Union will be the favorite going in, uh, but this is a very difficult tournament. Obviously, there's a lot of real good teams there. Union may be the team that stands out, but uh, in uh, Sepulpa, who I, I think they are a giant sleeper coming in. Uh, Stillwater's got five guys that are incredibly tough. Uh, Sand Springs, Muskogee. Uh, this is going to be an awfully difficult regional for our guys to get through. You know, it, it seems like we say this every time about this year, but it is the it is the truth. Uh, it's going to be an extremely tall order to uh, be a state qualifier this year. It's, uh, you know, it it's, seems like it's extremely stacked this year with the uh, the quality teams being pushed further to the east and. And just some teams that traditionally weren't as good as they typically, uh, uh, you know, as they, well, some teams that are better than they, they typically are. You know, like Sand Springs, uh, this is the best year in 11 years that I've ever seen from them. So Pulpa, uh, they had a real good season last year, but they're having an exceptional season this year. So, you know, some teams that were just average or a little below average are actually having outstanding years. And, and so it just makes that uh, to find... Uh, to be one of those top four guys at each of those weight it's, makes it that much more difficult. In a lot of schools, Coach, uh, you know this well, they may not be powerhouse schools and they may not be contenders to win a regional, but they'll show up with three or four or five guys that are tough for anybody to beat. And uh, I think Ponca probably would fall into that category with, with Crowd and Hunt. Uh, but there's a lot of schools that will show up, two, three, four guys that are awfully tough to beat. So that's what makes that regional so much more difficult, too. Yeah, uh, we're definitely one of those teams that falls in that category this year. Uh, we've got three or four kids that we think we can go and compete uh, with the majority of this state. You know, two or three kids that we think are as good as anybody in the state. But uh, three or f four or five kids that, that are really competitive at, at any tournament we go to, and, and that's going to be the same thing at regionals. There's going to be a few other teams like that as well, and so it just... You know, you take the uh, traditional teams that are tough and then you, the teams that are overachieving this year and then a bunch of teams like us 
And so that uh, is going to make for a pretty tough tournament. Yeah, it'll be in Sepulpa uh, a week from Friday and Saturday, and it uh, looks to be a lot of fun. Chris, thanks for your time. Great luck at the regionals. We'll be talking to you on the radio from the regionals as well as we wrap up the wrestling season at the regional and state wrestling tournament. For Coach Walker, Phil Turney on this week's edition of Coach's Corner.